Hi everyone, this is Patricia with Southern Grace and Beauty and I will be sharing with you my top five everyday products that I will use, especially if I'm not feeling um, feeling like going glam or if I'm just feeling lazy or whatever the case may be. So I hope you enjoy what I am sharing with you. And I was also going to mention that the past couple of days I have been doing a uh, wear test on the Wet n Wild foundation, the Photo Focus foundation, and so far so good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so if you haven't tried it out yet, then I highly, highly, highly recommend you trying this because it is a very, very good product. <coughs> it is a very good product. I'm sorry. So I hope you enjoy this video and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. And that will be it until the next video. And I will see you guys later. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the shade Sunny. Now. I really, really, really like this uh, bronzer mainly because it's really, really suitable for medium skin tones. Like I'm, I'm a very medium skin tone, and it doesn't look muddy. It doesn't look choppy. It doesn't look too red. Most bronzers they tend to go that route, and I don't do that at all. Some people might might prefer that color, but I tend to go towards that uh, cliche term where you look like you've been sitting out in the sun for a while. And this is what the bronzer looks like. And I know the lighting doesn't do it justice. I'm still working with lighting. But it's just the perfect color to make it look like you sat out in the sun for a tan. And it's not really a, uh, it's not really a, a buttery formula per se, but it's smooth enough to where it blend. Like it feels, it feels very smooth to the touch and it's very blendable and it melts right into your skin. And I highly recommend it for medium skin tones. So that is the MIC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the shade Sunny. The next thing that I want to talk about is the NYC Individualized Palette created for the brown eyes. And it is in the shade Union Square. And as described in the blog post that I will link below, it includes, I know that cream highlighter down here, I know it's filthy, <laughs> but uh, it includes a primer, includes a cream highlight, and sort of an off-white cream shade right here, and it's matte, and we've got a matte light brown right here that I like to use for a transition color, and that is all. I think I mentioned that was matte, but it is matte if I didn't. And this color right here, it's got little bits of shimmer in it, but not really. Like once you start applying it to your eyes, it's barely noticeable. But this is a dark brown right here, and this is a very, very dark purple right here. It's a uh, very it's a neutral purple, I would say. It's not too warm, not too uh, cool toned, but it's got little bits of shimmer in it too, but again, not very noticeable. And I really like this palette because on the rare occasion that I do travel, this is a perfect palette for that. I like to pack it whenever I go places. And you also saw me use it in a not really a recent get ready with me video, but uh, I think it was probably a couple months ago I did it and you saw me use this palette. This, what the, this is what that was. So I really like it because it's very versatile. You can create 
a daytime look and then you can pop on that purple eyeshadow or that dark brown and turn it right into a nighttime look but me personally I wear a nighttime look all day I mean that's just me but uh, I really like this palette and I highly recommend it for those of you who are just beginning in makeup because they are very easy to blend and they don't pack on too much pigment at first but you can easily build it up to however dark you want it to be so yeah that is the NYC Ind Individualized palette in the shade Union Square and everything that I am mentioning will be uh, mentioned down below in the description bar so that way you can find it now this next uh, product is I'm sorry it is not available on the website anymore but this is the BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush 10 color blush palette wow that was a mouthful but anyways this palette is not available online but I'm sure you can find it available like on Amazon or um, other websites like that this is what the palette looks like and I actually did not purchase this myself it was it came from a big set that my instructor was getting rid of when uh, we were cleaning up our classroom when I was still in beauty school and she was trying to get rid of a bunch of things and I picked this up and as mentioned in the blog post these are the shades and we go from very neutral corally pinky tones over here and then you start going more dramatic over here um, and I'm not I know I mentioned in the blog post that uh, I was gonna do some swatches but I just realized that I am not very good with swatches and it wouldn't be a good idea for me to do that because my lighting is terrible right now I'm still working with it so that is the uh, blush palette right here and what I really like to do again on the rare occasion that I travel I might pack this to use not only as a blush but there are two colors here that I like to use for bronzer it's this one right here and this one right here I believe what I like to do is kind of use it as a multi-purpose kind of thing um, like with the bronzer here that I mentioned earlier I can use it as a, a crease transition color like I can not only use it as a bronzer but I can use it as an eyeshadow that way I can save time and save space same thing with the blushes I can use the blushes as bronzers I can use them as uh, neutral eyeshadows so there's a ton of things that you can do with these kinds of palettes I mean you're not limited to to just one use there are no rules say if you if you can't use this color right here as a blush then why not use it as an eyeshadow or a pop of color you know that's, that's the way that I think about it and this is one of my favorite products because of that very fact it's very versatile again I like to use versatile products and the next thing that I want to talk about is again something that I do not know if it's still available or uh, if you can even find it anymore I don't know I will make sure to list all that below what's available what's not and this is the Mirabella lash essential mascara and this is one of the other products I talked about we were trying to get cleaned up in the classroom and I'm actually really glad I picked this up I was out of my favorite mascara at the time and it is a really good formula it's not too wet it's not too dry it's not very it's not volumizing but it does it gives you a little bit of length it just gives you just enough length to make it look natural 
and it, it gives your lashes almost that wispy effect that false lashes tend to give you. And it comes with a standard wand right here. Just a standard everyday wand. And the color is jet black. I mean, black. But it still looks very natural. And it still looks very... It is actually very, very flattering for those of you with hooded eyes, like I do. It kind of gives you that, the illusion of an eye lift, you know? And what I, what I like to do is I like to take that, uh, open it up. What I like to do is take that brown shade, that light brown crease shade right there. I like to just define my eye in the crease and then just apply the mascara after curling my lashes. You would not believe how pretty it looks. It's very flattering for the, uh, for all the hooded eyes out there if you're looking for some more tips and tricks. And the last thing that I want to talk about is this Rimmel lipstick. It is the Moisture Renew lipstick in the shade Pink Dazzler and that is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it is just a gorgeous, I'm gonna say it's, I'm definitely gonna say it's still a nude, but it's more of a darker nude. I don't even know if you can see it or not. Um, but I really like it. I, I really love the formula. It's very smooth. It, you don't even need a lip liner with it. It, it doesn't bleed. It doesn't, it's, I will say this is not transfer proof, but if if you want to travel with this, it is very good to do touch-ups with. Um, it won't move unless you are eating or drinking or whatever, but it is most certainly not transfer proof if that is the case. So that is my favorite uh, Rebel lipstick. And again, it is in the shade Pink Dazzler. All right, that is everything in my top five products, and I know I don't really do reviews all that well. I don't really know how to do reviews. I don't know how to do my favorites and why they're my favorites. I just know they are. Um, I feel like I can word it better on a blog post, so if you are interested, I will leave that, that uh, blog post down below. And please let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. I've got some plans in the future to do some more um, tutorials or get ready with me like you saw a couple months back. So that is it, and I will see you guys next time.